welcome back. We are joined again in the kitchen with Chef Sean, and now we're working on a salad. So tell us about the salad we're making. Yeah, we're going to make a nice light green salad with a muddled raspberry vinaigrette. Great for this time of year with the, the season being hot and all. So we'll get started by going and getting our dressing, dressing started. Okay. Um, we're going to add just a few ingredients here to get started. The fresh raspberries. I always save a little few fruit. Uh, I would save a few raspberries to <laughs> add to the salad. Um, I have a muddler. We'll go ahead and just get you, you started. Me to do that? Yeah, go ahead and muddle those things. I'll okay. prepare some of the herbs. I love having fresh herbs this time of year. Yes, and you were saying that you actually grow them, you and your wife. My wife grows them, I use them. <laughs> she's the green thumb of the family. We have a big garden. She puts up like 160 jars of salsa every year. Wow. That's very good. So, we're going to just get some of the chives. This vinaigrette it might not be a typical vinaigrette because we're really focusing on the raspberry and fresh herbs. Okay. Um, I'm not going to deseed the raspberries. Like if we were doing this for a fancy wine dinner, we would put that through a wire strainer and make it very, oh. very um, seedless. Okay. <laughs> very seedless. So I'm taking chives. The garlic chives, some fresh basil that we're going to just put a little chop on, and some parsley. I wish you all could smell this because it is incredible already. Yeah, when you're cutting fresh herbs, it's just that basil just jumps out at you. Yes. So I didn't do it, just a pretty rough chop here. We're going okay. to go ahead and put that in there for you to continue to muddle. Okay. There you go. Pretty muddled. You look pretty muddled. I mean, <laughs> your job looks muddled. <laughs> so we're going to add some whole grain mustard, real simple. We're going to add some white wine vinegar. And again, you're just eyeballing. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to add a little bit of white wine, because this is the kind of wine you're going to drink when you're having a salad. Absolutely. And then we're going to whisk in a little bit of virgin olive oil. If you could actually just give it and give this a stir, set that down. And give that a little bit of a stir. So colorful. Yeah. I love it. We'll squeeze a little lemon juice in there, bring some acidity to the table. A little salt. Pepper. Of course, you can adjust the salt and pepper and acidity. So, okay. okay, dressing's made. We'll just go ahead and set that to the side right now. Okay. We'll do a little prep for the ingredients for our salad. Okay. Use some green onion. What do you like in your salad? There's really no wrong answer. I, I, right. I, it just depends on the season. I really like a fruity salad in the summer, but in the winter, I tend to go more hearty with the bacon and the egg. And yeah. Yeah, I like that too. This, uh, what I'm trying to do here is bring, I'm gonna bring a little spice to the table with these radishes, since we've got a sweet uh, raspberry vinaigrette. We'll go ahead and just do some, <laughs> get a bruise, bruise, uh, what is that called? A radish? Yes. <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm just doing some salad ingredients okay. that we can incorporate into our plated salad. Now when you prepare a salad for, say, the family or a table, do you prefer to toss it or do you prefer to, just kind of bring it out more displayed in the lab. Well, I like to dress the salad before we take it out. I like to incorporate all the ingredients and all the flavors on every every green part of the leaves. Um, and I really don't do a lot of ranch dressing and that kind of stuff. I like to make fresh ingredients and work the fresh ingredients. We've got some heirloom uh, tomatoes here that will just create some more goodness. Is there anything that you don't think that you could do so far? I think I can handle all this I think so this far. Is easy. Yeah. All right. What else you want to put in there? Some red onion. Okay. Like red yes, onion? I yeah. do. A little clean of red onion. We'll just do a little julienne cut. It's a little easier to make. Okay. So once you clear out the outside, peel out the outside skin. Got my little garbage pile. 
I'm a big fan of composting at our house. We have a couple composters that we, and my wife uses the compost for the, the uh, fertilizer on our, our This is how I do a mango. Uh, this is seems to be a real struggle for people. It, yes. If you take a peeler, <laughs> it really isn't hard to clean a mango. You're blowing my mind right now. Nav I throw away <laughs> half of my mango every time I do it. <laughs> I was watching somebody clean a mango at the, the restaurant the other day, make some cocktails, and they, it was just the biggest struggle. Yes. And then I showed them this little trick, and it's like, oh, okay, I'll do the rest of the mangoes. Whoa. So, and this is just a classic peeler? Yeah, it's just a standard good. peeler. So I'll cut off the end and I'm going to get a nice flat base. Okay. And I'll cut off the tip. And then I'll find the length of the pit. All right. You can see which direction it's running here just by the shape of the... Then I'll cut that into planks. Like that. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I turn it on its side and I peel off this side. See, we're getting down into the pit a little bit. Yeah. And you can kind of feel it and navigate the pit a little bit. You don't want any of that in your mouth because it's really really hard and yeah so there we go my day is made right now learning this. how to do a mango <laughs> yes that means I'm struggling a little bit there we go they're just so slippery yeah so i'll just do some cubes here okay simple enough i'm a big fan of mango especially when they're ripe like this yes every time you get one of those bites of mango with some of the radish it just seems like that you got that sweet heat going on. It's always, always very tasty. It's going to be so perfect. Yep, and then you can just eat those. Mm -hmm. So now we've got our vinaigrette. We have got our lettuce in the refrigerator. <laughs> you can use any kind of lettuce. Okay. I prefer the field greens because each, each one of the field greens um, carry their own type of flavors. Um, Every, every one of them have their own characteristics. These are the type of greens that we use for salads in the restaurant. I did buy this at a local grocery store, so it's easy enough. I'm just gonna add the greens to the salad bowl. Okay. I'm going to incorporate the dressing throughout the salad and make sure we get a good coating on all of the greens. You don't wanna drown it, but you wanna make sure everything is coated. So. We're going to incorporate half of the ingredients into the toss salad. So there's ingredients throughout. We'll go ahead and plate the salad. There we go. Now you can just decorate however you want to. Oh, nice. You can put all your ingredients just throughout the salad and just trying to make it evenly dispersed so you get nice colors everywhere. You don't have to get too fancy or you're too perfect. You're just putting this stuff on here. It's... Look at that. That's perfect. It's a nice summer salad. It is. It really yes. it brings a lot of color to the table and a lot of flavor and a lot of freshness. It's just very tasty. It is. Good sharing size too. Yeah. Right. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 